What is going on, y'all? I am back with another episode of Criminal Minds, Season 1, Episode 16. Let's get into it. It's so cool we got in here. Uh, where you been? Where did you say the bathroom was? Upstairs, second door on the left. The fuck? There's our girl. Jeez. Ingrid! Have you guys seen Ingrid? Ah! Uh, they ain't seen shit but each other's tongues. What in the hell? What? What are you doing out of your bunker? I was on my way to file the things that I file. Excuse me. Hey. I'm looking Sean. Hey. You must be looking for your brother. Yeah. Is that Whitney from brother as in Smallville? If that's Hotch's brother, maybe Hotch is adopted. Uh, Georgetown Law, you're doing big things. Congratulations. Is hey. it? Come Kinda in. It looks like him. Sean, hey, uh, let me call you back. Hey, is this is a surprise. Haven't cut your hair since Thanksgiving. So you said at Christmas. Sorry. It's your first time here. Let me give you the tour. I'm working the lunch shift. Well, not for long. Congratulations. You must be pretty excited. I'm not going to Georgetown. He looks what? good. I changed my mind. I got this job offer to work at this restaurant in New York. It's not a chef. What are you talking about? Sean, you've always wanted to be a lawyer. Just like dad, just like me. Well, look what it got dad, huh? Heart attack, 47. I think I'm doing okay. Look, if it's about being in New York, uh, NYU's got a great law school, Columbia. I don't think you're hearing me. It's typical for someone who lost his father at a young age. You know what? You're not him. Then why are you here? That's a really good question. That's Hotch's brother. I don't see it. Sean, listen to me. All I'm saying is you're 25 years old. You know what? Don't profile me, Aaron. Now I see it. Tara Mesa, New Mexico. Five dead, all from Mesa University. Oh, why Five though? 19 year olds, minimal defensive rules. One of them was impaled in a six foot wooden pole. We're going to torture if I call college freshman. A no single one? So it could have exerted this much pole. control over so many people. I think we're looking at a pack. Three or more that kill in unison. And as in nature, a pack will keep on killing until it runs out of prey or is stopped. I'm a little nervous about a pack, ma. Nah. A pack? Nietzsche wrote, the individual has always had to struggle to keep from being overwhelmed by the tribe. Sheriff, I'm Special Agent Hotchner. These are Agents Reed and Gideon. They said with all the workmen tramping through here looking at footprints, it'd be a waste. The bodies were almost completely skinned, yet there's so little blood. The unsubstantiated areas of skin on the wrist and the throat why would they do that? I didn't want them to bleed out. These kids were skinned alive. Two sleeping bags. There's a third sleeping bag upstairs. Everything you need for a night of teenage romance. Skinned? It's unlikely that two couples brought a fifth wheel to take notes. Sheriff, it's possible there was a third girl here. I'll get my deputies to canvas the area, see if anybody saw a girl. You said there was another one outside? He was like the others. Coroner said from the amount of blood, he was alive when they impaled him. The way the victims were flayed alive, mutilated, and now the impalement display of this last victim. What? These were all war rituals of the Native American Plains Indians. Does that mean something to you, Sheriff? Everything you see around us is Apache land. This whole basin is a sacred burial ground. So this development is on their land? It was their land, but they didn't have the money or the inclination to build on it, so the town seized half of it. And now the what? town is looking for investors to build on the other half. There been any violence until now? Nothing like this. You know anybody on the reservation capable of this? The reservation's federal jurisdiction. We'll call Garcia, see what you can find. Okay, one order of bad guys on the Apache reservation coming right up. There's a guy on the reservation now who's been locked up more than a few times for demonstration, mostly political protest type stuff. Who that? But get this, his father was killed in a shootout with federal agents at Wounded Knee. Black Wolf? John Black Wolf? You know him? He's been in a little trouble related to his activism, but nothing violent. Should we call the reservation police and alert them? I don't think that's a good idea. Why not? Black Wolf is the reservation police. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Jane Bear, these are FBI agents. Gideon. Hello. Hello. Hotchner. Hi. And Reed. Miss Bear is the president of the tribal council and principal of the reservation school. Must be a busy woman. We're out here on our own, Agent Gideon. We all do our part. Is uh, John inside? This about the Terra Mesa killings? John Blackwolf has done more to help his tribe than anyone. How many times have you called him in to find lost hikers? What does this have to do with Terra Mesa? A lot if John considers the building of the Terra Mesa development on Apache land to be an attack. The developers have paid a lot of families to leave the reservation. So many families have gone now that we can barely fill a single class. Samuel, tell the men from the FBI who the Gahe are. The Gahe are mighty spirits who dwell in desert caves. Reed, is your name Samuel? <laughs> Sorry. Are the Gahe good spirits or bad spirits? They're both. Like men. 
I'll take over for you, John. Black Wolf, I'm Agent Gideon. These are Agents Hotchner and Reed. You look like a college professor. You look like his student. Yeah. You look like FBI. We're with the Behavioral Analysis Unit. The profilers should know better. We don't do massacres. You do. Me personally. Your government. We'd like for you to take a look at these photos and help us figure out how these kids were killed. You're not asking because I'm a cop. No, we're asking because you're an expert on Native American culture. I don't base my opinion on pictures, Mr. Hotchner. I have to walk the ground. Forensic says the outside's been contaminated from all the construction traffic. I notice you don't carry a gun. 21 feet. Ask Agent Hotchner there. He's the real gun hand. Why do you say that? You carry two guns. The maximum distance an attacker with a knife can close in the time it takes to react, draw your sidearm, and fire is 21 feet. Inside 21 feet, I win. Outside 21, I have other options besides shooting a man. Like negotiating. Like running. Why do you say I carry two guns? Your right instep print's heavier than your left. What do you see? There's a saying, once too much blood has been spilt on the same ground, that ground develops a thirst for it. This is all consistent with Native American warfare rituals. It's not Apache. Whoever did this carried out the most brutal practices of the Apache. Navajo, Comanche, Pueblo, and Sioux. No one tribe ever did them all. Real Indians would know that. This wasn't Indians. And if you want to figure out who did this, might help to know there was a six person in the house. Female, 90, 95 pounds, size six shoe. She was walking alone when she was ambushed by two men. We also believe there were at least three suspects. Three? Two over here, plus at least six over there. Because while these two carried this girl struggling to their vehicle to the east, at least six others ran single file to hide their numbers from the west. There were eight? At least. Damn, he's and one like hostage. smart, so perceptive. Holy shit. I love it. You wanted to see how I'd behave at the scene of the crime, you can at least tell me how I did. Your lack of an emotional reaction in seeing the carnage leads me to believe you're innocent. The guilty man would have feigned disgust. Exactly. You know counting coup is. The Apache knew they could easily prove their superiority by killing many of the enemy tribe, but they also knew killings would start a fierce blood feud. So the Apache proved their superiority by counting coup. Stealthily stealing property, usually horses, from right under the nose of their enemy. To the Apache, killing was a sign of stupidity. If this is your way of saying you're not the killer, we already know that. So why am I still talking to you? Hotch. Help. So if there was another girl out there, no one's reported her missing. We'd like for you to stay and help with the profile briefing. If it'll keep the FBI off the reservation, I'll stay. Each torture ritual had specific religious significance, but only to the tribe that practiced it. It's highly unlikely that any one tribe would mix them all together like this. What we know is this pack shares a singular vision. Hey, boo. Each member of this unit has surrendered its individual identity to the group. It's the act of kidnapping that reveals the nature of this pack. We could be looking for a domestic terrorist organization like the Symbionese Liberation Army that kidnapped Patty Hearst. But these are Indians, right? I seriously doubt it. Are you trying to tell us that Indians wouldn't be so brutal? No, I'm saying no, that Indians we're... wouldn't be so confused. I'm supposed to say that. Can we really be sure he's right? Why would anyone want to frame these Indians? Possibly Quit saying Indians! The ADU. American Defense Union. They're like the Minutemen who patrol the borders, only these guys blame everything on the Indians. Mitten's people are mostly white, believe Indians are standing in the way of progress. I think Mitten and the ADU are strong suspects. Mr. Mitten, any idea who might be behind these killings? The Indians have a history of violent behavior, especially the Apaches. Did you know that they used to kill white settlers, put their victims' heads on wooden pikes outside the Did you know that houses? white settlers awesome. stole their land? You know, your rhetoric sounds just hateful enough to justify violence. We're fighting the Indians in court. Our records show that your 200 members carry over 450 firearms. We have the right to defend ourselves. 450 guns, Roy. I don't think so. That's not self-defense. That's plain paranoid. Right. Not anymore. If Mitten's as fanatical as he pretends to be, he wouldn't file a lawsuit. I agree. He's using racist ideology to cover simple greed. Sheriff, I'd like you to put Minton under surveillance. We've just given Minton reason to believe that some faction of the ADU may have taken matters into their own hands. Minton may lead us to them. Hey, what do you got? I have an NCIC hit on one of the prints from the sliding glass door. Ingrid Greason, 19 years old. I think we might have found our sixth victim. Why didn't you report your daughter as missing, Mr. Greason? I didn't know she was missing. She has her own life at school, her own friends. When was the last time you spoke? A couple weeks ago. She's been going through a phase the past couple months distancing herself. We have reason to believe the people who kidnapped your daughter may be politically motivated. We think the best thing you can do to help your daughter is for you to go on the news. If we can personalize anger to the public, the public will take any harm that comes to her at the hands of the kidnappers personally. Hurting her would hurt their cause. It'll stop them from killing her? It might. Okay. Fathers blame themselves when a child is kidnapped. This guy didn't do that. Why not? Innocent parents, they don't hide their feelings of guilt while guilty parents do. Who was thinking this guy's guilty? Of something. Ingrid is my what? only child. She's my whole life. Please return Ingrid to me. She's never heard you. You have to see this. 
Contact me directly. What do we do? Everything I can to help. We get rid of her. No. I'm asking you, please let her go. No. We've got a caller on the line. Has Greason been prepped? He doesn't want Greason to know that he's even calling. This is Special Agent Aaron Hotchner. Yeah, we have Ingrid Greason. We'll turn ourselves and the girl in under one condition. You don't tell Greason about it. What does it matter to you what I tell Greason? Because he paid us to kidnap her. What? Don't move! Hey, don't shoot! Where's the girl? She's in the van! Got her! My name is So Ellen. are those two guys With acting separately from... Are you okay? Who killed the other people, maybe? Tell me what happened. Peter Greason hired us. Two weeks ago, he called us into his office. He said he had some off-the-clock work for us. He said his daughter was in trouble. He said he wanted us to follow her, grab her, and take her to a motel. And he said if we harmed her accidental or otherwise, he'd make sure we paid for it. So we grabbed her, took her to the motel, and we called Greason, and he said, come by in the morning. But he didn't show. What about the killings? I, we yeah. saw it on the news the next morning. We called Mr. Greason. He said, hold tight, he'd come around in the afternoon. But he didn't show. Then the next night, he's on the news. Then he's talking about kidnappers and... Look, man, we may be dumb, all right? If we're not stupid, I made the call right then. You kidnap the girl, but then you leave just minutes before someone else comes and kills those kids. We didn't kill them kids. We was with her the whole time since. You can ask her. Well, that's quite the story. Thing is, they're telling exactly the same one. And I believe it's the truth. Me too. He did it. He is involved because he didn't want his daughter well, to get killed. Your daughter. You kidnapped your daughter and coincidentally saved her life? Yeah. Right now, at the very least, it looks like you had prior knowledge of the killings. I had nothing to do with the murders. What you're saying is true. It seems likely your daughter was somehow involved in these killings. You stay the hell away from her! I want the names of all your daughter's friends at school. We have five dead kids, tortured, mutilated, and murdered, and all we have to go on is you and your daughter. Do the math! Let's go see it. I got this. You sure? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, talk to me. Uh-huh. Hello, Ingrid. Uh, I'm Dr. Spencer Reed. I'm Greason Ingrid 943-239487. Excuse me? Greason Ingrid 943-239487. What's Doesn't look not? like Minton or the ADU are part of it. Uh -huh. My men have been looking at him and his friends. Nothing. Hotchner. Ingrid isn't catatonic anymore, but she's answering every question with only her name and social security number. There's more. Garcia did some checking. Ingrid hasn't been enrolled in school for over a year. She had good grades. Just suddenly dropped out and vacated her campus apartment. We have no idea where or how she's been living. I need to see Peter Greason's phone records. How long has your daughter been in a cult? A cult? A unit four. I'm still on a code six outside the Minton residence. 10 four, unit 81. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Got that knife, though, making it look like it was... Not the cop, too. That makes it look like it was, um... About a month ago, you placed a call to a psychiatrist in Boulder named Dr. Richard Frank. He's Black a deprogrammer, and his specialty name was? is getting kids out of cults. Your daughter joined a dangerous cult, so you had her kidnapped. Now you're protecting her because you think Ingrid and her cult killed those kids, and you're probably right. A family of five was slaughtered in exactly the same way as the Terra Mesa killings, and among the dead are three girls. If Ingrid had a change of heart, a case could be made for brainwashing or even temporary insanity. We need you to tell us what you know about Ingrid's situation. It's all my fault. Given the wrong circumstances, this could happen to anyone's child. Tell us what happened. Ingrid was in her first semester. She started acting strange. She hardly visited anymore, but when she did, she was different. How was she different? She kept repeating these words, this, this jargon. I didn't know where she was getting it. She just disappeared. Cults commonly have their own language. It's a way of isolating the members from outsiders. If you could help us identify some of the key words, perhaps we could get Ingrid talking. She said I was a trespasser, that I had no right to be here. She said grandfather taught her the ways of... Gahi, Gahi, Sagahe. Yes. We're looking for the cult leader, typically men between the age of 25 and 35 with a high level of intelligence, and obviously someone with an interest in and affinity for Apache culture and rituals. Look for males with criminal records for lesser type crimes. The victims from the first crime scene went to Terra Mesa University, and maybe the leader was there too. Look for students who studied Native American cultures extensively. With this second strike, it could be a spree. Not a spree! Sorry about your man, Jim. I appreciate that. She won't give us anything but her name and her social. My friend wants to show you something. Ingrid, my name is John Blackwolf. You're the son of Benjamin Blackwolf, the Chiricahua Apache. Come with me. What do you think happened here, Ingrid? I think three little trespassers met the vengeful blade of the tribe. The Gahe have brought Grandfather back to us, build his new tribe. Did Grandfather ever tell you where the name Apache 
comes from. It comes from the Zuni word Apachu. It means enemy. And if grandfather knew the first thing about the real Apache, he would have taught you to refer to us as the Diné. It means the people. You and all the living Apache are like the Jews of old, lost and wandering the desert in search of their Messiah. He the has Dine come. don't believe in a Messiah. Guys. Don't use a word you don't understand. Oh. They're not gods as you understand them. This is not the blood of an enemy. You've been fed bits and pieces of a culture you don't understand. You are a liar. Only those who dwell in the Deadlands deserve to live. The Deadlands are on the southern edge of the Western Tract. You said cults like these seek out remote places, yes? It doesn't get any more remote than the Deadlands. How big an area is this place? About 100 square miles. We need to narrow it down. We might just have our cult leader. It's a guy named Jackson Callie who was expelled from TMU six months before the others. He studied religion and Native American culture in every school, and he was in a seminar on Native American culture with Ingrid Greeson. I've been a guest lecturer in that seminar for the past four years. Do we know he's still in the area? He was arrested for trespassing on a bunch of motel properties. Most cults don't have any legitimate means of paying rent. There's yeah. an abandoned motel off Route 29, right in the middle of the Deadlands. Let's go. I'll stay with Reed. We'll pull as much as we can on Callie. This is, this is intense. FBI, don't move! Put your hands out to the side and turn around very slowly. Jackson Callie. Grandfather. Where are the others? Hunting. Jackson Gordon Callie spent most of his childhood moving from foster home to foster home. Simply another sad but unremarkable statistic. Aside from the fact that he had an IQ of 189. I just spoke to the warden at the prison. Said when he was there, he found religion and began preaching to his fellow inmates. But he once convinced a mass murderer he was doing time with to beat to death an inmate that was threatening Callie. Okay, thanks. What's his connection to the Apache? Aside from taking your class, nothing that they could find. With sociopaths like Callie, there is no connection. If it hadn't been Apache, he would have found some other culture to attract and manipulate his followers. He reads the people around him. He finds a way in, and then he brainwashes him to serve his needs. I'm gonna give him exactly what he wants. What's that? An audience. You know, I spent my whole life talking to cops and doctors. Something different about you. You're not just the cop, are you? You're very perceptive. I'm a profiler. So am I. My colleagues respect you a great deal, looking to you to find all the answers. Well, they don't call me grandfather. Oh, and my tribe grandfather is simply another word for teacher. Did you teach your tribe to murder? No, I don't teach murder, I teach love. Love of land. These trespassers poison the land. You think you speak for the Apache, but you're nothing but a coward and a killer. I haven't killed anyone. What's going to happen when the angry white men come to the doors of your children blaming you for the killing of their people? What are you going to do, call the cops? No, you're going to string them up like the savage animal your father was before they shot him down. No! Enough! Enough! What? I'll get him talking. You, you've done more than we could have hoped oh, for. You guys take Kelly down to the sheriff's office. Ball. You tell that man he's welcome on my reservation anytime. Black Wolf got Callie to reveal his true nature. He's a racist. It was always about Callie. It was about power, manipulation. There is a large cache of guns missing from Minton's house. Maybe he isn't trying to fight a war. Maybe he's trying to start one. The first attack was designed to look like Indians. To manipulate the ADU to retaliate against the reservation. So Callie tried to provoke them further by killing the head of the ADU. Right, but that didn't work either, so now he wants to attack the other side. Call Black Wolf. We need to get to the reservation. The school is our most vulnerable target. Callie likes killing kids. Bro. Put that away. What? You don't need it. Use your baton. There are many paths to the same place. Trust me. Just so you know, you sound like a fortune cookie. <laughs> These fucking crazy ass people. Split up. Find them. Oh, bye bye. Bitch. <coughs> now. Oh. Oh. Big mistake. Stay down. I don't want to hurt you. Okay, Hotch. Okay. Damn. Fuck around and find out. Bitch. Ooh. Right, that's right. Get out! Don't shoot! I give up! Fuck you. you. Okay! Just had to shoot somebody, didn't you? 
children? We got them out before they got here. We took down these four. Without firing a shot? Captain America here shot number five. You're welcome. Number six has got up pretty bad. America's I don't think he's gonna make it. He said he didn't shoot him. There's an old Apache saying, you can take many paths to get to the same place. Okay. Okay. Be with you in a second. Thanks. What's this? Paul Norris, he's in the New York field office. If you ever need anything, give him a call. Is your way of saying I can't take care of myself? No, it's my way of saying I'm a jackass. No, it must be hereditary. <laughs> Sean, it's really important that you do this your way. You know, what you feel is every bit as important as what you think. Dad knew that. I forgot. You reminded me, and thanks. This is a pretty messed up going away present, you know that? Brother worries. You need to get out of the office more. Tell me about it. So I'm starved. How's the food? It's pretty good. Let me uh, fix you something special. I'm in your hands. Want a beer? Sure. Thanks. What a jam. Interesting. Interesting that they are bringing in family like Hotch's brother. There has to be a reason behind that. That's not on. That's not just because. So there's there's something going on with that in the future. Maybe I don't know. Interesting. And I do like that we see some people from their like private lives as well because I think it helps establish who they are as a person and who they are as a character that episode was awesome i think that obviously there was some stuff in there that maybe m might not have uh worked today if it was released when it came to like language and stuff but i think for the most part it was like pretty respectful i guess i mean coming f i don't know if i even have the option to say that but i i thought it was a cool take on the topic there and um i think that that character of of black wolf was like fucking awesome like what a badass just so cool calm collected and strong i loved that i loved him yeah i mean i'm not of native american descent but i have my stepfather is and i do have other people you know in my close world that that are and i went to school in a town that's on a reservation and very connected to the community and connected to the tribe there and um it was it was it was cool to see this episode which had some some problems like i said but um overall i thought it, i thought it was pretty awesome so let me know what y'all thought about this uh i can't wait for the next one this season is on fire like it is just it is every episode like these last few have been good great 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 i can't wait to see how they how they wrap up the first season here so i'll see y'all on the next one bye